everyone in this video I am going to explain you how to select a cable profile in pre-stressing. So previously two videos I have uploaded on design of pre-stressed beam. So first example was on a rectangular pre-stressing beam. So it, it was a simply supported beam under UDL. So the CG will be running for this center, the rectangular beam. So if there is a pre-stress, pre-stress force, pre-stressing, so this eccentricity we have calculated. So how did we calculate? We have we know the stress. So if it is at bottom, it will be P by A plus P E by Z minus M by Z. At top will be P by A minus P E by Z plus M by Z, where P is the pre-stressing force, E is the eccentricity, M is the movement due to the this external load W. That means if this is a simply supported beam, our movement will be W L square by 8 at the center and moment will be 0 here. So our stress at this point at the end will be P by A plus P E by Z. So I am uh, I'm taking the bottom portion because the bottom we are having tensile right minus m by z so similarly at the center and both ends this now if i am having p e eccentricity you see this is our stress now at the end because moment is zero so this part is gone so you can see our stress is p by a plus p e by z if i am having eccentricity zero at the end then that means my stress will be P by A otherwise it will be P by A plus P E by Z if I am having so this is the case if eccentricity is 0 that means eccentricity is 0 means we say concentric right so I am calculating for this end ok and position I am calculating the stress and here if I am having eccentricity E that means eccentric ok pre-stressing two types of pre-stressing there so I am if I am having concentric that means this is an example of concentric pre-stressing which I have shown in this figure ok because here also we are having uh, this is eccentric because we are having eccentricity throughout now I want concentric at the ends means my profile will be so this is the beam this is the CG I want the profile should be like this ok like this that means here eccentricity is 0 here eccentricity is 0 but here I am having at the center eccentricity so you see what is the advantage here if I am having a profile which is like a bending moment diagram because this is our bending moment diagram if I am having this new cable profile before my profile was straight right here direct straight tendon we have used if my cable profile is like my bending moment diagram you see our stress here will be just p by a we do not have extra p e by z because here moment is zero we don't have to balance moment here okay now moment here we are having so at the center we need eccentricity so that we can balance the moment because the principle behind the pre-stress concrete is that compressive stresses induced by this uh, tendons okay because you can see this p by a plus p by z is compressive so this we want it to balance the service load the moment due to the external load so this is due to external load or you can say service loads so when the moment 
uh, is produced or it is uh, after it is subjected to loads when moment is produced this should be balanced by the pre stressing force that is our concept so our cable profile should be like this so this is also called as uh, the concept of load balancing in which we are balancing the loads okay that's why we will try to prefer our cable to be uh, this rather than having straight then in another example which i had solved in another video uh, solving the continuous beam pre stress continuous beam so that was two span beam okay now if this is the beam this is the cg line now if i want and this is under udl also our bending moment diagram was so if you refer the video we have calculated like this the moment bending moment diagram so here also we will provide the cable profile as the bending moment diagram okay so these are the supports eccentricity 2 here eccentricity 1 because at every point we will have uh, different moments so we need different eccentricity different minimum eccentricity okay now this was cable profile so how did we calculate this what we did because we took only this two section right when we calculated one section was where maximum negative bending moment that is internal support and another section we took where maximum positive moment will come and we found the stress so p by a minus plus p by z and this is moment m by z okay so now this is the moment which is going to change at every section depending upon your load so uh, whether it is a determinate structure or indeterminate structure you have to do the analysis uh, you, whether you are using uh, if it is like in this method i have used three moment equation to solve this to find the bending moment so once you find the bending moment you can calculate the stress and this should be within the allowable limit so you have to calculate the eccentricity which so that this balances this compressive force balances the uh, impose the moment coming from the imposed load now if you see here in this diagram i have only taken two sections right you can also if you want you want to be very precise like uh, the eccentricity at many different points you can calculate for that section also you can take uh, you can take like this and o o or p p you can calculate individual section because from the bending moment you will already you have already known the moment at that point okay so you have to put the value in this pre stressing force is constant area will be constant and eccentricity you have to calculate so that the stress should be within the allowable limit so okay normally we just calculate what is the uh, only for the maximum values you can also calculate at every point or any uh, more points so that you can have a better profile okay profile of this cable okay so for every point you want to calculate you just need to find out the bending moment so as you have already done the structure analysis you would have already done it so from there you have to take the moment and then solve this stress diagram to calculate the eccentricity required at that section okay so you you have to follow the bending moment diagram and solve this then in another example if you see uh
structure overhang structure so what will be the bending moment here something like this right here moment will be zero at free end here also it will be zero and here you will have maximum so you can find out moment here so you have to do the analysis find out the bending moment diagram then from the bending moment you know the moments okay so if you draw the cable profile and this is your CG distance and you will have the cable profile similar to your bending moment diagram okay so here you can put eccentricity 0 and this eccentricity you can calculate it calculate using this stress diagram okay so this profile this every eccentricity you can calculate using this stress profile okay hope you understood uh, the concept and it will be uh, hope this is useful for you thank you for watching